How to use clipping masks for text and shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. And in today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to use clipping masks with editable text and other shapes in order to create some really interesting looking graphics. So let's jump on in. Now the first method of using a clipping mask in Illustrator that I want to show you is using text. Now what's really cool about this is that you can, um, you can edit the text and still use things like gradients or textures or pictures or whatever. It's really, really cool. So I just typed up gold. I'm using Gotham Ultra. You just want something nice and thick. I've got my kerning set to optical and my tracking is negative 100. So as you can see, it would normally be a little bit more spread out, but I want to get these things really tight together. I think it looks better when you're doing these, this kind of work. Then the next thing you want to do is grab the rectangle tool, hotkey hot M, and I'm going to just make a box around gold that's bigger. Um, you want to grab a gold color, so let's just do gold for this one since we're going to be doing another gold image underneath, and you can come over to gradients and metals and that should pop up this window and this first one here is gold that's what it should look like now i like to add gold at an angle just to make it a little more interesting and i usually drag these bits in and create a few extra bits here of color just to give it a little bit more interest um something something like this like you see here yeah that looks really cool um, so then we'll just move this to the back. I'm going to hit control shift and left bracket to send it back. Now, here's how this works. If you try to like color your text with a gradient like this, nothing happens. It's just going to look like that. So what you have to do is you have to select it and then come over to Pathfinder, hit the hamburger icon and click make compound shape. Now you won't be able to tell that anything's happened. It's gonna look the same. However, when I grab both of these and right click, I say make clipping mask, boom. And what's really awesome about this is if you hit T and go to your text tool, you can still change the text or even the font if you want to, right? If you say, oh, I really don't like, I don't like it being that one. I, I, I'd prefer it to be a different font. Let's just try Babis real quick. But anyway, I really like the way this looks. I think it looks really sharp. So let's go ahead and bring that down here. And what's cool is when you move it around, it brings the background with it too. So you don't have to worry about grabbing both. They're, they're sort of grouped this way. The next thing I wanna talk about is just using a clipping mask on an image. Very simple. Just go over to your pen tool and then zoom in on the image like so. I'll finish it out just by clicking this you'll see you've got that circle on the bottom right lets you know that you've completed the shape and then just color it in with something so you can see it make sure it looks right yeah it looks great so let's grab both the image above and the or the uh, vector shape above and the image below right click and hit make clipping mask and now if we just kind of come over here and drag it into our artwork there you go looks pretty sweet the next example I'm going to show you is really kind of a combination of two or more clipping masks. And we'll do the text, but then we'll throw in just a, a pen tool clipping mask on top to make it look like one really cool looking clipping mask that's still editable. So what I'm going to do is type in uh, run, run and I'm going to get a, a nice fat, tall font. I like press Gothic for this one. It's going to be great. I'm going to blow it up real big. I'm going to make it a little, let's see, I want his hand. I'm going to hit Shift X to switch from fill to stroke. And I'm going to just bump this up a little bit more, just a little bit bigger, I think. About right here somewhere. Yeah, I like that. That's going to look really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the background image because I'm going to use it again. And I'm going to lock this with Control 2, okay? I'm going to lock the black. I don't want the background. Just want these two selected. But first, I've got to go to Pathfinder, click Make Compound Shape, do that again. Now select both, right click, Make Clipping Mask. Super cool, looks great, right? Well now, what we're gonna do is paste the image on the front, and I'm going to do a little bit of transparency. I'm dropping this down to about 60 is good. I think that looks nice. 
And I'm going to I'm going to lock it for now. So again, uh, Control Two just to lock that. And I'm going to go ahead and lock this one too. I don't I don't want anything selectable really. Now I'm going to grab my pen tool. I want to have some of the in between. Uh, so I want the runner to like sort of extend through the words, but I don't want all of them. I, actually, his like. The leg that's closest and the arm that's closest to me or closest to the camera, I want to be full. But the one in the background, I want it to be cut up because I think it'll just look really cool. So let's just see how it turns out. Basically, you just got to come down here and start with anything that um, protrudes out. I'm going to just start here. And you know that uh, the area that's lighter is the area that we're already going to see because of the text. So it's these darker areas that I faded over here in transparency that we need to create the shapes for. We don't have to create the entire shape. So I'm just going to do this again with the pen tool and I will probably speed this way up. <laughs> Okay, so now I've made my shapes and I'm going to select all of these by holding shift and clicking on each one. And then just come back over here to Pathfinder, make a compound shape. I'm gonna back out a little bit and I'm gonna hit Control, Alt and two to unlock. So I've got my layer here that is 60% opacity. I wanna bump that back up to 100 and I wanna select my compound path that I just made, right click and hit Make Clipping Mask. And this is the final product. Let me know what you thought of that tutorial in the comments down below. Go ahead and smash that like button and check out some of my other tutorials. And I will see you in the next video.